Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family, just thank you for the love and support that you're giving yourself, uh, seeing the things that we need to see, um, being able to resonate because, I mean, going through this stuff it, it really is crazy you know we get drained we have headaches the pain of wind just be out of control we equilibrium be off but it's just a blessing for me to be able to make these videos and you're like hey Rosalind, i, would, I can resonate with that so let me know i ain't going crazy <laughs> so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while i have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're trying to get to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the video has been very informative to you or just gave you some good vibes you would love to share with a loved one or family or friend or even an empath that's going through some situations that they really need clarity on validation or confirmation please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you so much for the love and support that you've been giving me i'm so gratefully appreciated to have you in my life and you know and towards the you know addition towards the you know our beautiful family is greatly appreciated and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today my meditation song uh, is 432 hertz uh, boost your vibration cleanse self-doubt fear release your vibration positive energy boost and i will post this link in the description box below you know we need that positive boost it's just like it's been a really crazy day for me been out nature walking and you know i had to relax for a minute because just to let everything soak in and then try to go ahead and do my videos and because i said i wasn't going to do any videos today i was going to go ahead and take a break because i was with my granddaughter and my my daughters yesterday so i really didn't have time to myself so i was going to go ahead and take today but um i'm gonna see this is going to be my last video so i'm gonna see if i'm gonna do my personal time to myself so i can work out and just you know take nature walks or just relax because i haven't really been getting no sleep y'all let me know if y'all been getting any sleep lately because i've been going to bed like three four o'clock in the morning i'd be tired i'm shocked on my time while well, i'm feeling it now but yeah my video today is about twin flame 101 the way our gifts uh strengthen us it does you know it strengthens us in ways we never realized because you know like i've told y'all before we can get put in situations where we feel like we can't make it through that hour make it through that day or even through the week it can really physically emotionally mentally and spiritually drain us but it's like we have gone through so much you know there's times where we get hard on ourselves like why can't we get over this you know I, i've done it myself where i feel like why can't i get over certain things and you know then you know when i think about it there's things that i haven't even bothered thinking about anymore and even when it comes up in my thought process it doesn't affect me the way it does you know and then it's just like i can congratulate myself like hey you're not you know it's not affecting you you know how you can be able to control situations like that is don't allow it to control you you know we go through different things we have our triggers we have our little moments we have our emotional time but you know we're human we're stuck in this human body we go through stuff like that but you have to understand also there's some emotions from your past life as well you know that we still carry on I, I i still feel some of my certain things that i have gone through in my other life you know it's just a blessing and it, i mean it kind of it seems kind of crazy but it just just ugh, it just depends on what you can remember you know sometimes it can you know a certain situation can trigger something bad that happened in your life like there's times i don't read the bible you know i just i choose not to because it reminds me of the days in my biblical sense i remember being in those days i remember being in that era i mean you know and it's just crazy remembering seeing donkeys and stuff walking around being able to have them 
crazy looking shoes on, you know, doing them like, I think I probably gone crazy, you know, just remembering that life like that. We had no internet, <laughs> we had no TV, we had no air conditioning, Ugh, you know, and certain, you know, hyg hygienic products at that time. I'm not going to go that route, but, you know, just certain things that, you know, you can really look at it in a positive aspect, you know, a positive look. And it's a blessing, like, when I can sit up here and talk to a love bug, or, you know, love bug, you know, my brother or my sister. And we can talk about things that be and relate to it. And then we can be able to give each other that spiritual support or that positive support. It's like, hey, did you look at this situation this way? It'll make you, you know, sometimes you need somebody in your life that's biased. Like, when you can actually trust somebody with your situations and be able to let them know, hey, I went through this and, you know, I'm really struggling with this. Or, you know, I had a dream about this and I'm trying to figure out what this means. And when you can be able to tell some about somebody about certain things and they can bring that positivity towards your life and let you know hey you're going through this because of this you know because there's like i said you know we go through so much and you can be tired you get tired of going through the things you're going through because you have to think about it you're not just taking on the things that you take on from this life you're taking everything on because since this is the year that you know this is the generation that's going to be cutting off all those cords from those karmatic cycles I mean, the karmatic cycle curses or the generational curses and the karmatic cycles. Um, and I got that mixed up on my last video. So y'all excuse me on that. Because I was like, like, dang, I said that so backwards. But shoot, we hey, okay, so you'll understand what I meant. But we have went through so much and we have witnessed so much. You know, that can be bothersome to some people. That can really tear you down in ways that you never realize. So it's times that we have been hard on ourselves because we're not able to let go of things. You know, if you see, you know, you see the things that we went through. Yeah, it's at times it's hard to be able to get through them. I mean, not get through them, but actually being able to let go of the concept because it's like it'll give you that shock like wait a minute this happened to me and you're like wait a minute this really happened to me and then you have to be able to tell yourself no this did happen to me this happened to me in the past you know even though it's this life it happened to me in the past and it's just like all these things we have experienced has strengthened us in ways that we never imagined it you know it gets it gives you that concept saying you know when you can after you all feeling set aside all the hurt and pain when you can take all the emotion out of that situation and you can stand up in front of somebody and tell them without crying you know i've been through this i've been neglected i've been kept away from my father my dot my my biological mom you know i had my mom my my adopted mom lied on to make it look like my mom didn't want me to know who my real family is I've had all these things happen to me and I can sit up here and say okay I went through these things you know even though I went through them I'm using it as a platform to be able to help other people get through their situations and being able to be strong because it takes a lot for you to be open book and tell people about things you go through because you never know how somebody's going you know going to take it you know, people, I've had people in my life walk away because it was too heavy, like, that they couldn't be able to deal with it because at the time when I found out, I was a nervous wreck. I cried all the time. I, you know, I was angry. I couldn't understand why my family put me through these certain situations. But then when I can look at it, I might not be able to tell exactly why I went through every little thing the way I went through it. But it has taught me how to love myself know I'm really stronger than I ever imagined because I'm able to help people look at their lives in a different way being able to respect myself have that self-worth allow even though there's times I, I you know things will come in my life and I get aggravated by them but knowing that I can be able to get through this you know not every day is going to be perfect for me but I know I'm gonna get through every day I can at least say, you know, yeah, this did happen in that day, but I always try to find something positive in that day. Yeah, this did happen, but I did get that peace of mind. I was able to laugh a little bit. I was able to get this and that done. You know, that's when your strength comes in. When you're not throwing this pity party for yourself and saying, woe is me. Well, I went through this, I went through that, I went through this, and I went through that. You know, you can say, okay, I went through that, but 
I'm not allowing that to affect me, you know. Just because of how somebody else is doesn't mean I have to be able to play this little mind game with them. Or just because I'm in this situation doesn't mean, you know, I'm going to be stuck in this certain situation. That's where the strength comes from. Being able to see that the gifts that we have, you know, you can be a hey, okay, you, you know, we have that thing about rubbing people the wrong way. <laughs> And being able to see the things we see in different light, but bring a little comic, little, you know, like, oh my God, did they just say that? You know, when you can bring a little excitement towards the situation and be able to look at it, you know, like y'all see me sometimes, I, I be acting a goofball at times. There's times you see me cry and I get emotional being a little crybaby, or there's times you're gonna see me mad, like I'll straight say I'll peel somebody's scalp back. But yeah, there's different ways you have seen me because it's like so many people can relate to those different sides. And they'll be more prone to be saying, you know what, Rosalind, I have been through this, or how were you able to control this, or how were you able to look at things when it ha when these certain things happen? That's when you know you can be able to help somebody as well as help yourself. Because we can do those little self-talks to ourselves and say, you know what? Yeah, this really sucks that I went through this. But I know this is not healthy for me to be in this certain situation and be stuck in this certain situation. How can I be able to make myself better so I can be able to get out of this situation? That takes strength. It really does. So don't put yourself down when you're not able to just let go of stuff. Because obviously, for you to be still stuck there, there's something that you still need to know. You know, or there's something, you know, you're just missing. You're just mi really missing out on. So know that your gift, you know, whatever your gift is, it'll, it'll grow and grow. A mass of size. You know, um, you you're tr still trying to find your life purpose. I always tell people, if you're ever trying to find your life purpose or trying to figure out where you fit in this world to do your part, look at the things that you love to do for people. What make what brings you joy? What brings light to your life as well as others? And that's where your life is going to be at. That's where your fulfillment will be at. Look for the signs. Look for the synchronicities. Look for the visions that has been brought to you. You know, when you had a certain urge to go a certain place or just to speak kind to somebody, you know, that that's your purpose. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. I'm going to try to be back tomorrow with some more content for you. But, you know, like I said, I need to take some personal time out for myself. I have not been able to sleep lately. I've been going to sleep like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. So I'm kind of tired, y'all. <laughs> so yesterday I went to sleep like around 4.35. Matter of fact, 5 o'clock this morning I got turned around and got back up at 8. So, um, and I've still been running ever since then. I've been walking and I've been doing videos. So I said I was going to try to do me some exercise, which I'll probably push myself and do because I'm really tired. So, excuse me. So I'm going to go ahead and do me some, some exercises. Tonight I'm going to try to motivate myself to do some exercise, but I'm so tired. But much love to you. I'm going to try to be back tomorrow. If this comes back, you know, this comes out the next day. I, if I don't do any videos, you know why. So much love to you. This time is already running out. So I'll be able to give me a shout out on the next video. So much love to you. Peace be wild. You got to uh, send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing you always, somebody's always praying out there for your better days. I told y'all I was tired because I'm so here struggling, trying to set up and put my words together. Much love, y'all. Peace. <laughs> be wild. <laughs>